Uh, Latrell asks, what do you think of an, is an ideal size battery and solar panel for a hard day of calling CQ? Um, this I think is that would, don't get too, don't get too hard. And don't work yeah. Until, you know. <laughs> I think that would depend on what your transmit power is going to be. First off, you know, what your, the parameters are, your, um, power, your, your power budget. Yeah, um, and what, mode, what mode you're operating too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What, what modes, you know, modes and, and whatnot, you know, because QRP, you can get, will get away with a, a smaller battery and a, and a smaller panel. Um, then, you would if you're going, yeah, going 50 or even or or 100 watts. Um, if you're going to run 100 watts, I think the smallest battery you're probably going to want is a 20 amp hour battery. Anything smaller than that, and you know we're talking lithium iron phosphate batteries. Um, anything smaller than that, and then the, the you know the the BMS is going to have a hard time just providing enough um, energy, you know, to the uh, to the transceiver, it's going to start to cut that a little bit. Um, 12 hour, you know, I've, I usually run 50 Watts with a 12 amp hour battery. I'll get two, two and a half hours of good hard use, you know, 20 amp hour. You should be able to double that all day long. So throw a solar panel in the mix and then you can, you know, granted if you've got sunlight, <laughs> uh, you could, you, yeah, you would definitely, um, you know, go longer than that. A uh, hundred watt solar panel in full sun will generate about six amp hours of power. So you get six amp hours of power return. So if you had a hundred watt panel and a twenty amp hour battery, and you were in a sunny spot, you could. I I think you you would you would almost be able to drive it all day long without depleting. But right, then, but and as Dave said. Mm -hmm. The mode definitely uh, mm -hmm. makes a difference. 50 yeah. watts uh, sideband is nothing compared to what you're pulling 10 watts FT8 or uh, Ridi mm -hmm. or uh, CW. Uh, yeah. Those full duty cycle, uh, even though you're running a low power, they really do pull a lot out of there. Uh, sideband sips to juice compared to those modes. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. So that's something to consider. But I run a 15 hour or 15 amp hour uh, light bulb and Usually what I do is I'll pick out two or three uh, parks for the day mm -hmm. and I'll just hit and I'll get to my 10, 15 contact at one, pack up the next one. And I'll yeah. usually charge the battery in the car. I have a charger in there. Mm -hmm. It'll charge and just kind of sort of top it off. And that's how I do it. But if I were going to do a whole day activation, I would say probably 20 to 30 amp hour battery with 25 to 50 watts of uh, solar. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't yeah, think very right. many of very many of the POTA activators are doing all day activations. Right. You know, like from sun up till sundown. I think a lot of them they set up, they operate for an hour, they pack up, go somewhere else, or they go have lunch, or they go. We fishing. have lunch. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's not. We have most houses. most yeah. of the POTA guys. It's not like a contest where they they go sleep deprived for forty eight hours. Uh, yeah, know. yeah. So, so I think most of us probably carry uh, more battery capacity than we would ever use. So, I would tend to agree with that, and I would probably, if I was just deactivating, I probably wouldn't pull the solar panel out just because it's right. It could be a hassle. Mm -hmm. uh, when I'm out camping, you know, we got the we got the panel on the trailer, and I've got the auxiliary panel. So there's 180, I got 180 watts on the trailer and then another, another 100 watts to feed into the battery. Uh, but um, we're also, you know, the, I, you know, I, I need about almost, you know, 15, 20 amps a day, you know, amp hours a day to keep the, uh, the electric refrigerator and, and all of the other power stuff that's going on in the, in the, in the trailer. So it's, uh, the solar becomes a necessity to keep all of that going for an entire weekend. You know, my biggest battery issue on my activations is not the radio. It's my laptop. You know, well, yeah. a lot of guys use a laptop for logging. I use it for, uh, I like to do PSK or ready sometimes and FT8 or whatever. And, and that darn laptop battery doesn't last long at all. That's, right. that's annoys me, but my mm -hmm. computer uses 19 volts. So it's not like I can power it off of my uh, radio battery. You almost right, need yeah. an inverter. 
in, now, inverter. I heard someone, I was listening to a podcast the other day, and someone had a laptop, uh, more of a tablet, I think it was, charged off USB, so five volts, but it had like the Intel Atom processor, uh, which mm -hmm. is notoriously, but for logging, it would be fine. But mm -hmm. I don't know if logging and running with PSK or WSJT or any of the other uh, uh, programs that you'd operate a radio with, I don't know how it would work with that. Um, but yeah, the, the odd voltage of a laptop is annoying. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, it's uh, Scout 75 says stop bringing the solar panel at activations. So, e exactly. <laughs> it's just overkill. <laughs> yeah. But it's the perfect companion if you're spending the weekend out there. Right. So. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Especially if there's no, if there's no sharp, sharp power to come to. Got to have yep. solar. Exactly. So. Thank you so much for the questions. If you keep sending them, we'll keep answering them. Feel free to leave your questions and comments down in the comment area below. I'll filter through them, and who knows, yours may end up on our next Your Questions Answered live stream. Our Q&A live streams happen on the first Thursday of the month, starting at 7 o'clock p.m. Central Time. I hope to see you there. For more articles and information, along with a full line of VHF and UHF antennas for sale, please check out my website at www.jpol-antenna.com. Your support of this channel drives the production of future videos. Check us out on Patreon. Patrons gain access to exclusive content, and our patrons help keep the mission alive. That's over on patreon.com slash kb9vbr antennas. Well, give us that thumbs up if you like this video, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if it's your first time here. That's your best way to be notified when a new video is released. I'm Michael, KB9VBR. Have a great day, and 73.